Ha 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 ha! Sarasu chao tawadashi! Welcome back to our Let's Play of the Stanley Subway. So we left off uh, last time with a glorious twist where it fa we found out that the evil lady, whoever she is, and whatever her motives are besides being evil, has captured our husband and wants to do a throwdown at sundown or something along those lines. Or throw down in the middle of the night uh, for my husband's safety. I'm assuming she has some dastardly trick, uh, you know, shoved up her sleeve somewhere. Most of these communists always do, and uh, that's where we are right now. So I'm just letting you guys know I'm extremely tired right now. I had terrible, terrible night's sleep. Hope that I'm not gonna get this run over as soon as I step on these train tracks. Okay, good. Damn, the hell the captured Gleb. I have to hurry, otherwise, better not think of it. Anyway, so yeah, I, I did not sleep very well last night. I've actually been sleeping really poorly um, the last couple days. And, uh, yeah, so that's that. I've also been... Oh my god, oh my god. Should I Should I pick it up? Ooh, it's a flamethrower, huh? But yeah, I've also uh, spent the most of the morning playing uh, a new strategy game that came out that I've actually been interested in called the Grey Goo. Um, and it's actually really good. Uh, I thought it was, it, it looked good. From everything I'd, I had seen about it, it looked really interesting. Um, you know, a nice old school type of RTS that I've been waiting a long time for. And I played it and found out it was, I mean, it wasn't amazing, but it was definitely very good. So a Let's Play that will be coming after uh, you play Stalin Subway. And you might actually see uh, that before the Stalin subway, depending on how I feel. Because with those games that have just come out, sometimes you want to get the, the Let's Plays out relatively quickly. Damn. These guys take a long time to burn. This looks exactly like a scene from the original game. I'm, I'm convinced that they probably just rehashed a ton of their resources from the first game. Oh, come on. Oh, fuck. Also in other news, still going on a trip, as I uh, mentioned in a recent video log. Unfortunately, we will not be going to the United States. Uh, our lawyers have actually recommended that we don't go to the United States. Um, simply because there's no guarantee uh, the border agents will let my wife back into Canada. Which is a real shame. But uh, we're still going on a trip, just going on somewhere here in, uh, just going somewhere here in Canada. Yeah, I uh, don't. You don't want to hear my my rant about border agents. I really dislike uh, the amount of mainly. I think I, I dislike the amount of power that border agents have to really influence your life. Like they, they can deny you entrance to uh, a country despite the fact you have all the documents and a clean travel record. You know, based on the fact that they don't like your face. Where the hell am I going? Okay, good. I don't know if that's like a like a mine 
I'm gonna save. Okay, now it's uh. Now yeah, for a DP. Oh shit. Oh, I can't see what I'm shooting at. And whatever it is, I think I killed it. Well, these whole uh, shootouts in these long hallways are much easier than the ones in tight corridors. Mainly because these guys can't aim for shit. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? I had full health. Full health. All right, let's not try to uh, get completely destroyed for no apparent reason this time. Come on, give me the... Oh, there's guys behind me too. It's better to just, just so far away, just aim for the body. Ends up being an awful waste trying to get headshots. Okay, let's advance and hope that I don't get randomly exploded. Okay, I got randomly exploded. Well, shot. That's not gonna help me. I think they're just continually spawning. So I finished uh, a book I was reading recently, and now I'm on to, uh, instead of a book, it's like a series of lectures. 
They're all they're like a series of, of history lectures about uh, decisive battles throughout human history and various turning points, and it's super interesting. The cool thing is, like it it gives you really brief snippets of all these different uh, important battles all over the world. Uh, so a lot of them I you know knew already, but there are lots uh, that I didn't know. I'm learning lots of like random trivia. So one of the battles, and it's more the campaign he looks at is is uh, Cortez's campaign in the New World to overthrow the Aztec Empire. Okay. No. Clef, my darling. Clef, my, my darling. Mom. Oh no. Is she gonna take her shot? I found Gleb, but Helva escaped somewhere. However, I do not think it will last for too long. She will back with reinforcements soon, and it seems like I'm not gonna be able to find them. So Gleb feels badly. Maybe he has with some kind of drugs. I'm sure he's okay, but we. Aw, I wasn't able to read it fast enough. Sad day for me. Oh, <laughs> oh! He just got help now. Oh, I just love her, her, my darling. Oh, Jesus! It's, it's like more like a old Jewish grandmother for some reason. But anyway, so he, he looks at these uh, uh, Cortez's campaign to overthrow the Aztecs, and it's just uh, you know, it really gives you a sense for like how technologically and uh, how populous. How, the Aztec Empire was how technology advanced and how you know how many people just lived there. And just how crazy it was that Cortez was able to pretty much overthrow the entire empire with uh, a thousand guys. Then again, he did have smallpox to help him out a little bit. But uh, interesting trivia fact. That uh, I learned from that whole experience. Oh shit, I should really. Oh my god! Okay, I really gotta watch that shit. Oh, for the love of Christ. Oh my god. I don't know if I should. Hold on. Oh, shit. So I was hoping to have gotten an autosave, uh, but I didn't, so I went back to a save slot and uh, manually saved it. Unfortunately, I couldn't stop that guy who really fucked him up. But uh, I, I managed to save him to half health. Oh my god! For fuck's sake, man. I gotta go back to my solid save. Okay. So, are, do they just like continually attack him or something? Okay. So I'm just gonna chill with him for a little bit. So you come with me, and uh, we'll just move really slowly. Anyway, to my trivia. So I learned uh, what the flag of Mexico means. So apparently, when the Aztecs were just trying to found their empire, they were just a tribe kind of wandering the wilderness, and they refused to settle anywhere until they found this omen, which was a eagle sitting on top of a cactus eating a snake. And uh, they found it in this, like, there's like sort of swampy lake. There's an island in the middle of it. And that's where they found it. So they built this, you know, magnificent city in the middle of this swamp. And that's where Mexico City is today. But anyway, uh, the guy mentioned, uh, the lecturer mentioned that that's where the Mexican flag 
uh, comes from and I never really paid close attention to the Mexican flag like I always knew what it was and if you put it in you know a row I could identify you know hey that's the Mexican flag holy fucking Christ Okay. Anyway, so yeah, like I said, I could never, I never really looked closely at it. So I took a look. I'm like, holy crap, that's that's what's on the Mexican leg is a eagle uh, on a cactus eating a snake. So there you go. It's a bit of trivia. If you ever at a bar or something and they ask you where does the symbol for the Mexican flag come from in trivia contest, now you know. Okay, come on, come on, dude. Man, I'm actually running low on ammo. That's just surprising. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, she could take cover or something, dude. Okay, here they come. That did not work out very well. I will stand in front of my husband and defend him. Hey, right, that worked out better this time. Wow, that dude really does not like Leb. <laughs> Just completely ran by me. Boggin ammo. Where's that guy? There he is. I don't know if we're supposed to go back this way or forward this way. Oh, for the love of Christ. Can't turn your back on this asshole for one second. We should at least give him a gun so he can defend himself. Good dude, come this way. Oh my god, this is literally that they, they continually try and find ways to make this game more painful and irritating. Yesterday, or well, first let's play our playthrough. It was the car, and uh, you know the invisible cars that kept chasing you, and and all the shenanigans involved in that level. Yesterday, it was the I'm gonna fill up the rooms with uh, slowly fill up the rooms with water while you're trying to navigate around and for some reason your character even as soon as she goes under the water for two seconds less than two seconds the instant she goes under the water she starts to uh, lose health and now today it's trying to defend this guy You gotta keep a close eye on him in case. What are you doing, dude? Come on, get over. All right, I predict shit tons of enemies will spawn here. Oh, I knew that was going to happen too. As soon as I left this asshole behind. Come on. Come on, dude. Where'd he come from?
No, I see, uh, see one guy. Let's keep it moving uh, excruciatingly slowly. Oh, shit. Uh, time for a quick load. So, these guys are going to spawn here. Where's the guys who spawned from behind? Duh! These fucking assholes, man. Okay, there's obviously a certain point you pass and you trigger them to spawn. I don't know if I should reload that and hope for a better result. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that as you're in here. I think it's after you get past that pillar. That's pretty much the same thing. Well, I'll take it. It's down to a quarter health. I think we escape on this truck, dude. Actually, I don't know if I can... I'm gonna take my chances here for a sec. I wanna get the sniper rifle. Oh, I should have flamethrowed those assholes. That's what I should have done. Where the hell is he? Oh, there he is. chances are of actually hitting him. Not good. Reload. It's not from that angle. Alright, Gleb. Just chill. I don't know if we are supposed to take this truck out. I mean, it's running. I feel like the developers wouldn't just put it there for no reason. Because they, you know, don't have the foresight to actually decorate the environment with things that could, you know, be potential background dressing, but not actually serve a purpose. So I think we killed all the guys here. Fuck his club. Do 
velocity. I do not want a fast save. I'm worried that as soon as I walk too far away from him, like 18 guys gonna spawn around him and gun him down simultaneously. I mean, the truck is running. Okay. It doesn't look like there's anywhere to really go with the truck. Cocktail Molotov. I got a first aid package for Gleb. Well, that's great. If only he would come with me to where he needs to be. Which he is not doing. I don't understand why the evil girl, whoever she is, didn't shoot us while she was behind that pole and just kill us both. Okay, well, there you go. That's good. Is he, is he gonna come with me? He's moving. He's moving, everybody. Oh, for the love of it. Y'all didn't respond today. Oh my god! Come on, Gleb. Come on. Camo. Camo. Hey, there's the guy. He's coming, he's coming. Alright, I'm actually a one shot off. An acceptable amount of damage. <laughs> 